Hi, it's me again with Corel Droll Tips and Tricks. I've helped people from all over the world. I don't think I've ever helped anybody from Brazil. So it's kind of neat. He And this is how to send a file. The leaves look a little fat, could be slimmer. Follow the curve is starting on the red dot. And I've done it. And I'm, he said it's actually better. So I thought I'd show him how to do it. So that's 0.73 where well, this is 0.77. So what we're going to do, and I'm just working with this leaf. I'm going to see how big this is. It's you know, real little. My nudge factor set on two. I'm going to make a duplicate and move it up. But I'm also going to make a duplicate of the red dot and move it up. But then I'm going to make another duplicate and move it over. Because I'm going to do it two different ways. So what we're going to do here is just, he doesn't want to make the entire leaf smaller. He just wants it a little thinner right in here. So let's take both of these and we're gonna left click, right click. Now, and for the one I'm doing it for, I'm gonna do this. Your leaf is a little uh, rough. And when we contour it, the contour part's gonna be rough. So I'm gonna clean up your leaf uh, just to kind of make it better. You know, even though the leaf is a mother, well, that took away a little bit of the curve, but, um, it's just rough right in here. And you, if you have X, I believe it's X7 or above, you can use uh, the smoothing tool that might be better in this situation. But you've got to click on your item and get your nodes visible. See how they just cleaned it up quite a bit? Because when we contour it, like we're going to do on this first one, it's going to make a big difference. So now I'm going to take the line and go to effects and contour. And I'm going to contour 0 0.03 because I've already done this. And look at that, it went right through the red dot. Now I'm gonna move the red dot out of the way because it doesn't really matter, but he just wants it narrower on this side. So what we can do now is take the three point curve line and just, let's zoom in here and get this pretty good and even and kind of go like from right there to right there, give a little bit of a curve, go up to the top and we could probably actually go straight across and whoop. Cause we're just gonna cut this line out. Whoop. We're just gonna cut this line out on the other side. Well, that's not gonna work with that line up. Okay. Whenever you can't cut something it's cause you've got to select it all and break the object apart cause you didn't break the contour apart. So I need to do a little bit better job on this part. Matter of fact, I can move this line away because that's my line. And I could just take the shape tool, whoop, grab the shape tool and just bring that, bring that node up. And now if you look, we're going to use the smart fill tool, fill it in and that leaf is that much narrower, narrower, narrower. I'm going to left click right click and then because I can match that at same color either with the color smart fill tool or the color eyedropper we're going to take a sample now in this drawing and then I'm going to take away the outline in this drawing is a little I'm going to make a a copy of it and you just move it over there and you can see it's not visible and that's that's what I like about Corel it'll stay on the one last one pick and then just go to object order front of page and there's your little deal. So it'll be quite a bit smaller. Now, the other way to do it that might not, you know what, because I've cleaned this one up, I'm going to use it so I don't have to clean it up again. Well, I'm going to move that circle over a little bit. I'm just going to delete this. The other way I would think to do it, and it might not work as well, but we're gonna make a duplicate of that. And then while holding down the four-sided cross, just kind of move it over and maybe even up a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this is the original. So I don't have to worry about, well, that's why it's probably not gonna work as well. Um, you know, I'm gonna take away the lines that we shouldn't be able to see and see if it, if this did work. And I think it is. 
Because it actually, now let's take away the two. Well, that ain't going to work. You can't just go across a line. Whoop. So this did make it smaller or thinner, but I'm beginning to think that it, the contour will be the better way to go. And if, let's do this. Let's see how close it is to what I did. Let's left click, right click, and let's left click, right click in red. And because we've nudged these, we can nudge this over. And you can see that the new one is actually a little bit thinner than my red one. So uh, I did a little bit more to this. And then, of course, you could just take your, let's do the Smart Fill tool this time. Go up here and get your eyedropper. Get a sample of that and fill it in. Now, when we do that, the color, we don't have to add that little non-color leaf unless he wants it colored. And then right-click, no outline. And if, let's get rid of all this stuff. Let's put the leaves on top of each other and see how good we did. Let's make the one way we can do it. And because we've nudged the whole time, let's make this a different color and make it transparent a little bit. And now let's nudge it on top of our other one. A lot of times you have to click off of it and click back. So if you look, the dark green is the newer leaf and the uh, light green is the old leaf. So this is actually a, a double part of the leaf right there. I actually made that a little bit bigger. But that that's a good thing because we, we could actually take this blue, uh, our our blue color, and we could actually bring that down a little bit. We'll just right click and turn this into a, no, it's, it's, it is a cusp. Well, only one of them are gonna go. But see, you could grab that note and I'm, I'm just taking away the blue. And that's now we're engaging on the red or the green. But this way, if we uh, left click, right click, and see it's still in a transparency mode, put it back. We don't have to, because you don't need to be able to see it, because I'm just gonna smart fill it in. We still got that same color, and then take away the outline. A lot of times you'll have to select it all to take away the outline. So there's a thinner leaf, and he can adjust you know, what I did and make it more. I think that would be a better way than like trying to reduce the leaf to make it smaller, that's not the look he wants. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.